at Justin Labar on Twitter, at Josh Eisenberg4 on Twitter. As the CSR Originals continuing on Chair Shot Reality, you can subscribe to youtube.com slash CSR Wrestling. Go to WrestleZone's YouTube. We're both places. You can go to all WZTV over. on WrestleZone. All over. Can't all miss over. us. You can't miss us. You can go to Twitter. Sometimes videos pop up on Twitter. It's great. Facebook. I love it. Everything. I love it. I love you. You look good. So do you. You got that summer I got, you got that summer diet on. I can tell. I'm feeling Fitting good. Fitting out. You looking good? Feeling good. Yeah. Feeling how good. How's the treating you? Hey. Uh, how you doing? All right. Bottom Nakamura versus Finn Balor uh, on NXT this past Wednesday. Not a takeover. And I know you have a problem with that. I do have a problem with that. So Testify. Finn Balor has been the, the flag bearer of NXT for well over a year now. Champion, dropped the championship in a very anticlimactic way against Samoa Joe. Uh, and, 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 uh, yeah, a non-televised house, house show. Yeah. And then you have this Shinsuke Nakamura Finn Balor match uh, filmed three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And then you go and basically tell us that this is Finn Balor's last match. You don't have him really advertised for anything well, going f- forward. You don't have him advertised for NXT TakeOver. The Finn Nakamura this past Wednesday was live. It was not live. Yes, it was. It was not live. That was, was the first of this past week. Not live. And then they, I'm pretty sure it was live. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It I was read the f- spoilers, so. No, they had that match, and then they did the rest of the tapings after that for the next couple weeks. Anyway, either way. So it's not an NXT TakeOver show, right? That's the problem. Because whenever you have NXT on Wednesday nights on the WWE Network, yes, you're going to get people, you're going to get the hardcore fans watching it, but NXT TakeOver has ruined what NXT Wednesday nights are all about. NXT Wednesday nights are talking about guys for three, four weeks, building promos, building to the main pay-per-view, which is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Miami, whatever, wherever the hell they are. I have a problem because Finn Balor deserved better than this last send-off in NXT than a match on a Wednesday night. He didn't get that big spotlight. He didn't get the big stage. And as much as it was such an intimate feeling, hasn't NXT TakeOver kind of ruined that intimate feeling because those shows are always so much better than their Wednesday night shows? Well, the NXT TakeOvers are always better than the Wednesday night because it is a bigger stage because they prove that they can fill the same arenas that Raw or a pay-per-view goes to. But here's the thing. I'm not going to disagree with you that obviously – Takeover's a bigger stage, and everybody wants the biggest stage possible. But the reality is, I don't think it hurt anything, and I don't think it's ru- I don't think Takeover have ruined these Wednesday shows. The Wednesday night is still the fabric of NXT; it's still the building block, and these takeovers. How many NXT shows do you watch on Wednesday? Though? Every Wednesday night, I watch every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, not you watch live, not always live, but I, I watch every single one. Okay. What, but my, what I'm saying is, that's the fabric; it's what built, it's the roots, and then and it's not like we're doing these takeovers every month. They do them basically quarterly. Look, Finn Balor sent off. Yeah, it would be great if he did it at a takeover, and I guess supposedly they could have let him still cross over, especially with the and Kevin done Owens it of last and year. done it in August, right? But uh, for but who knows? We have. If I had to guess, maybe obviously you know Finn's going to get drafted as we all kind of figure. Maybe Vince McMahon said, you know what? I don't want him crossing over. If I'm bringing him up here, I want him. I, I want this, this, and this. I don't. So, the bottom line is they gave the best thing is they gave the match plenty of time. Other than the Samoa Joe promo, it occupied the rest of the hour. Uh, you know, several About breaks. Minutes, yeah. It was a solid match. He got the thank you Finn chance. Everybody, the, the audience knew without having to be told that this is probably it. But didn't it feel anticlimactic? It, no, it didn't to me. How, it really didn't. Really? I'm not to saying me, I'm, I'm not watching s- them. It was, I mean, it was a great I'm match, not, nonetheless. It because, wasn't because that because the. I mean, I mean, I've been there. Those those 500 people are still as loud as some of the 10,000 that watch Raw. It just didn't feel like the proper send off for him because I don't. Th- when you have a, I mean, that would have been a great send off for a Baron Corbin or an Apollo Crews or somebody like that who hasn't been established and who hasn't been the guy that has carried that brand to newer heights. I mean, yes, you had guys before him. You had the you had the um, you, had, you had the Nevels. You had guys there previously become champion. You had the Cesaro Sami Zayn matches that were great. But Finn Balor is the fabric of what NXT has been for the past year, and to give him a random Wednesday night send off. I still think it was taped. I think it was I just. I still think it was taped, Labar. Well, here's why. No, I, I'm pretty sure because they just taped. You the bet on it. I'm a gambling man. This past Wednesday, Kenny Rogers. All the spoilers just came out for the next couple of weeks that basically have told us what the takeover cards going to be in August okay. because that was live. Yeah. And then everything else, the rest of that night was taped for the rest of the time. Well, let me ask you this. They wanted that to be live in front of the crowd. So this match live for the is the final send off of Finn Balor. He gets drafted. We'll talk about his future in just a quick second. I wrote about the NXT roster thinning out. Yeah. You have guys that are going to get called up. I, I potentially see like a, I got like a Ty Dillinger being called up. Somebody like that, a mid-card guy. But you have Bobby Roode, you have Samoa Joe, you have Nakamura. Other than that, do you really have guys that are really filling out this card that you want to really see in NXT Brooklyn? <clears throat> There's a surge of guys right now that they're having to start to quickly get credibility to. Quickly. The, you know, That's the, 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 the No Way Jose's, um, you know, my, my boy Elias Sampson, he's, in, he's down for a few more weeks. The mm-hmm. ankle, they were building, they were starting Office to build him. Pain. Yeah, they, they, they're, yeah they're, they're, it's, in a, it's in a recycle where they have to quickly, quickly get some of these. You know, that's why 
folks, I, I know you don't want to hear it. Bailey's not going to be drafted. Okay, Oscar's not going to be drafted. Yeah. I fact, if you want to ask me that, you know, well, I don't want to spoil everything, but I think I think girls like Nia Jax and Eva, I think they're going to be the ones that if, if girls go, they're going to go up. And, and and. But that was also a problem that WWE did with NXT guys before. Apollo Crews never won a world championship, uh, or uh, never won an NXT championship. Baron Corbin never won an NXT championship. But these guys are called up, and what are they doing now? Well, they're also, not really establishing themselves as anything important. Well, they're also, just kind of filling out the card. Let's also keep in mind, too, as, as we're seeing, WWE is also, not to give away people that don't want to sure. spoilers, but basically... Some of these big stars that are going through the cruiserweight, they're also pulling them over. Sure. Uh, Abushi, Gargano. So, yeah, they're, 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 I think Triple H, really, I think he's trying to replenish this roster quickly. He knows the situation. He knows that he's losing some of his studs yeah. to, to, to Vince, for basically, yeah. a lack of a better term. Well, let me ask you this. The, the final, um, you know, obviously the final match of Finn Balor of uh, Nakamura is a great match. I think everybody really enjoyed it. It was you know, not the best match but not, ever. But not the best the that either of them had. Either. I, I completely agree with that. Yeah, I, I agree. But and maybe now, that is because commercials were interrupted. I don't know. Or maybe there's not a big enough stage where the crowd really latched on, which I think I is a reason. But anyway, the future of Finn Balor in WWE, he's going to get drafted. Huh, spoiler alert, what happens with Finn Balor now? Where do you have him go? What do you have him do? I, everybody cries for him in the club. I just, I guess you could have him involved with the club, but it just you're not going to take the club. The club is getting John Cena over as a baby face. The club is doing such a good job as heels. I don't see how you can justify taking Finn Balor and putting him in a heel faction unless you want it to be some kind of a struggle here. Uh, and, and, and people have to remember too, the Finn Balor that they fall in love with in NXT. I don't know how. I mean, there's going to be some changes. He's not. He's not going to have the same entrance, that, that, that the demon entrance at least every Raw or SmackDown. They'll show it once or twice. It'll basically, probably just be for pay per views. He's he's never. You know? He doesn't put the paint on every know, NXT on, as well. Yeah, yeah. He, on, he always does it for takeover I just, events. I just hope that. I hope that, the the the, the, the hardcore NXT fans that tend to be more <clears throat> surly towards. Raw and SmackDown, i.e. Vince McMahon, I just hope they're prepared that, like we've seen with other NXT talents, sometimes things aren't, it's not always a smooth transition. Enzo and Cass were an exception. They, they have, Their gimmick is so right. good. Hopefully Finn does not hit the same speed bumps. Um, Kevin Owens, he flew right in, uh, but Apollo Crews has not. You know, it's, I, so yeah. it's just, I hope people are prepared that Finn Balor, it's might be, there might be an adjustment. But Is there any other guy in NXT that you think would make an immediate impact on Finn Balor? I have one. That's gonna get. That's definitely gonna get drafted. I think one guy has to get drafted. What? Ty Dillinger. You, you, my man. You were on my Ty man Ty. Oh, man. Can I do it? I'm gonna put man it. Man crush. Man crush. What are you? Man crush. Man crush. Man crush. What is going on? I'm gonna do the Ty Dillinger. Look at these. Dance, look at these man. shoes. Look at these shoes. Nice shoes. They're what not are you bad. wearing? You know what? what I didn't have wearing? to. I didn't have to pimp myself <laughs> out to you? David Allen to get these nice Who shoes. Who are you? Wrap it up. It's called endorsements. Wrap it up. Chair shot reality. You wrap it up. You don't even on ESPN. Lock okay. it up. Chair shot reality. WrestleZone.com.